Hi, my name's Scott, the Miniature Maniac, and today Emil and I are going to compare sizes and see who comes out more shameful. Wait, that didn't come out right. What up, mini family? We all have piles of shame. Sometimes they manifest themselves as literal piles or shelves of boxes, or in my case, a closet full of shame. <laughs> However they take their form, they're a constant emotional burden and a reminder of my intrinsic consumerism and how I fail to do anything I set myself to. So let's make light of them so I can reduce the mental pain that I feel daily. All right, this is how this is going to work. Emil and I are going to try to one up each other round after round with either more rare or a higher quantity of unpainted miniatures. And you, the community, are gonna decide who is more shameful. Let's get ready to rumble the first ever backlog showdown. Begin! All right, I'll get it started with the Kingdom Death Monster Miniature, specifically the Necromancer boss. KDM is a boutique miniature brand that sells a lot of their miniatures in resin format in a limited edition. Oftentimes you can get those miniatures in plastic with their game, but they're slightly lower quality, so the resins tend to be more valuable. In fact, I checked eBay for the Necromancer boss and it looks like it's going for, uh, oh, 50 bucks. What did I pay for it? Well. That's a little sad. What you got, Emil? Hey Scott, that's cool and all, but you know, I've always been a huge fan of Sergio Calvo and I had to support his Kickstarter hireling of Asura. Yeah, I only got one of them left. It was my favorite model, Mao. He's still unpainted, but really looking forward to painting this one sometime. Of course I'm gonna do it. I always paint all the miniatures that I have. A little bit of the old Sergio Calvo Rubio. That guy's name is the most fun name to say in all of miniature painting. Well, I think I can one-up that and simultaneously win the hearts of millions with, of course, it's the Space Marine. I got this 75 millimeter version of Not Russ Lehman from Toy Toys. They were running a Kickstarter for these puppies, pun not intended, and sent me one to paint for a video. When the Kickstarter got canned for probably obvious reasons, it went into my closet of shame, never to return again. <laughs> Beat that, you beautiful Swede. Wait. Maybe this Bone Grinder Gargant isn't the most unique one. You can still get it on Forge World, but it costs a whooping $175. And having a this expensive piece unpainted, does it make sense? Probably not. I'm not too ashamed of it though, I think. <laughs> and also, on top of that, check out this bad boy. This one was sent to me by a viewer and I am forever grateful for this because this miniature, the Chaos War Mammoth, is pretty much impossible to get hold of today. And I still haven't painted it, of course, but I definitely plan on doing that one. If you look on eBay today and you don't find a recast one, you're probably going to pay somewhere around $1,200 for it. Okay, that is some expensive resin, but I have something that money can't buy. Ryan, a fan of my channel, met me at a recent painting hangout and brought with him a 90 millimeter scale Michael Morbius that he had custom sculpted by someone and had 3D printed himself. The concept is pulled straight from the comic book. It is freaking sick. There are likely one or two of these in the world and I have one of them. Let's see how you beat that one, little squiddy boy. Little squid boy. <laughs> Jealous, me, no. Maybe, a little bit. You know what's better than one rare miniature? Like, a lot of them. Not rare, but still. I have 10 unpainted miniature busts, and I had this idea of making a video called I painted 10 busts in 10 days, and I'm sure I'll do it sometime. I'm pretty sure. Okay, okay, now we're starting to get into quantity rather than rarity. I can play that game, probably a little too well. I have both getting started sets for the Adenet Deepkin and my favorite STDs, both fully unboxed and, of course, fully unpainted. And if you look closely, you can find some rare closet dust. Can you handle this level of shame, squiddly bop? It's not too bad, just two boxes. I have a few of them as well. You know this game, Warmer Underworlds? I have a few of those unpainted. <laughs> All 
Okay, I knew you were gonna bust out Warhammer at some point, so let's talk what else. I have five Sisters of the Thorn, Nyestra and Arahana Dragon, Warhawk Riders, War Dancers, Dryads, Glade Guard, Sisters of the Watch, five Wild Riders, and a Spell Slinger, two versions of Draka, two Highborns, and an old Tree Man, all in various stages of needing paint. Surely you cannot beat this shame, Squadmar. Squadmar? Is that what you guys in America call Wood Elves? I'm gonna show you some real wood elves. This is a wood elf army and for some reason I thought it was a great idea to reprime half of the models and the other half is miniatures that I purchased just before I quit playing when I was 15. I mean just look at this Orion for example. I got him as a birthday gift from my parents about 10 years before you were even born. <laughs> On top of those rarities we have Glade Guard, we have Araloth, we have War Dancers, three Tree Lords, one of them is Durthu, made out of metal. We have the Wood Elf Dragon, Archer, we have some of the Eagles. <laughs> this brings back so many memories and uh, none of it is actually painted the way I had planned on painting it. Those are some very cool elves, Emil. Very, very retro. What I mean by retro is they look goofy AF. I didn't want to do this, Emil, but you forced my hand. Let's talk Kickstarter. I have Blood Rage, plus expansion, fully unpainted. I have a Song of Ice and Fire, Men of the Night's Watch Stars set, fully unpainted. I have the others, plus expansion, half unpainted. I have the Village Attacks, plus numerous expansions. Then do I have anything else down here? Oh yeah, I think I did. Oh, oh. A little bit of the old hate. And of course, an expansion for hate. By my count, that is 348 unpainted miniatures. I think we got them, boys. Good job. Squiddy boy is done for. Okay, man, I got to give it to you. That whole Kickstarter pack is kind of shameful. That's a huge freaking box of minis, man. I'm not jealous of you, but you might be jealous of this that I'm about to show you. This one is the first of my unfinished armies. This is my Gloom Spite Gits, my spider and somewhat Trogoth focused army. It's just about 3000 points of spiders and Trogoths. But you know, for these iron jaws that I have, I actually have two models that are completely finished. Both of them actually won me a painting award each. But then again, I have another one of these and about 1500 points of pig riders unpainted. And then I had this idea of starting a Beast Claw Raiders army, but converting all the ogres to orcs. Because orcs are just so much better than ogres. But after building one start collecting box and switching out all of the heads, I found a whole army used for 40 bucks. And uh, yeah, that was a year and a half ago. Or how about that army of unpainted Sinch demons? And while we're talking about demons of magic, how about the Supreme Lord of the Undead, Mr. Nagash the High Hat himself? But I have more to show you. And this, my friend, this is something beautiful. This is my Tomb King's army. This is not just a mystery box. This is a full freaking box filled with unpainted Tomb King's horses, two catapults, two of the grave thingy with, I don't even know what this is. It's big and a lot of heroes and Shabtis and just a lot of awesome stuffs. Wow, that is some intense level of shame, Emil. Well, I'm all tapped out. You guys should let us know in the comments section who has the bigger, badder, worser backlog. If you don't know Squidmar Miniatures here on YouTube, what are you doing? He has an awesome channel all about miniature paintings. You can find linked in the description below. Go check it out. If you guys like my channel and you want to support it, there are a number of ways you can do that. Namely with a Patreon campaign where you can hang out with me any day of the week and chat about your miniature painting projects on Discord or talk about all the unpainted miniatures that you have.
Other ways to support the channel are with merch, like with this black metal Miniac t-shirt or buying hobby gear that I recommend down in the description. Any purchase with those links down there give me a kickback and no extra cost to you. You can also buy my miniature or the class for my miniature. All things linked in the description below. Subscribe or die! And most importantly, don't forget to... Get my